Thank you for coming, everyone. I'm William Brighton, director of Gaia, the Global Aeronautic Industry Association. Today, I bring you no less than the news of our species' first footsteps onto the universal stage. In 1785, German-born astronomer William Herschel discovered a new object in the night sky. This object, a planetary nebula that's part of the Hydra constellation, NGC 3242, resembled the planet Jupiter, and as a result came to be known as the Ghost of Jupiter. 335 years after the discovery, an odd series of signals, which seemed to be originating from or near this nebula, was intercepted by a group of scientists at the Enhanced Very Large Array. A global consortium of scientists and encryption experts spent three years trying to decipher what they believed to be a message of some kind, but their efforts proved fruitless. <clears throat> The transmission was analyzed and deemed to be a hodgepodge of overlapping signals, but no message could be discerned. But then in 2112, a Swedish hacker with the screen name Mouse Droid sent the scientists their first lead. He had analyzed the data based on his uh, bootleg transmission that he downloaded from the Chinese frontier and came to believe that the signals represented the spatial points of a triple helix version of a DNA strand. The government of the United States of North America quickly established an international conglomerate, Gaia, and set their base of operations in the state of North Mexico. A plan was established to go out and find what was out there before it had a chance to come here. And the plan was enacted in secrecy, largely due to the rising tensions between the Patriot and Robespierre parties. An all-new interstellar vessel, dubbed the Heracles, was quietly assembled in lunar orbit and was launched this morning at 10.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The crew for the mission are seven in number, but for those of us on the mission board, they represent the whole of the human race. We have Mission Commander Macon Cook, Pilot Mark Dickinson, Engineer and Propulsion Systems Designer Elizabeth Hewitt, Engineer Samuel Rhine, Computer and Encryption Specialist Ada Schuyler, Biomedical Specialist Dr. Ellison Branch, and Linguist Dr. Kunar Andrews. We will be updating you all through mission status reports, press conferences like this, and the web presence we've created at GaiaNet.us. Once past the edge of our solar system, the crew will be dropping transmission relay pods known as breadcrumbs, which will enable us to maintain communication throughout the course of their journey. Please join me in wishing the crew Godspeed. I'm sorry, but I won't be accepting any questions at this time. Thank you. I am Heracles.